where we have uh, Governor Evans Kidero again on the spot. Fresh bid to probe Kidero's NGO cash, and apparently uh, it seems to be uh, there, there's an amount of money in uh, the NGO's bank accounts amounting to about 2.7 billion uh, Kenyan shillings, which uh, is not known where it came from. Well, the the, the the donation story is very interesting. When you look at the photo of uh, Kidero, it looks like a man with uh, a, a lot of uh, trouble. And then number two, typical to is uh, you know clever. He's very clever. He says he doesn't know about any, anything about this uh, he's, foundation. He's not uh, a trustee. Yeah, never mind that uh, his son is the treasurer yes. and uh, his chief of staff is uh, a key member. Mm -hmm. But I think more important, it goes back to our leadership in Kenya. That uh, do we have leaders in Kenya? who are actually transparent. Because when you've got about 2.7 billion in your account, and then you claim you have no idea of uh, the Where source. Where does come from? Yeah, I mean, Yet how, it's your son who's uh, the, yeah. the, the treasurer. But how, how, how does this really happen? And uh, do we elect people in Kenya, and when they assume positions of uh, leadership, do they actually deliver services? And you remember when uh, Dr. Willy Mutunga was still head of the judiciary, he said that Kenya is a bad economy, that we've been uh, invaded uh, by cartels. And it would be interesting for Dr. Kidero actually to tell us how has he received uh, this money, where has this money come from, and is this money meant for a campaign? And uh, those are the bare minimums. You recall in Kenya we have uh, wealth declaration forms that we are supposed to know how much money as a, as a politician made during his uh, term in leadership. Mm -hmm. But you, you never ever get to know this outcome. Mm -hmm. Meaning that Wanjiru continues to get a raw deal. You are elected to office not to serve Wanjiku, but uh, to further your own nest. Your own nest. Mm -hmm.